This is a video tour of the Pro Tools Control app for iPad. The Pro Tools Control iOS app runs in landscape mode on the iPad, interfaces with uControl via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and appears as a surface within uControl when connected. Connect to the workstation via the same Wi-Fi network, and it becomes a wireless portable remote control with approximately a 50-foot radius. Pro Tools Control is a Yukon application and therefore works with any Yukon enabled software like Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, Nuendo, etc. Within the Control app, there are four main views Mixer, Tracks, Channel, and Soft Keys. The Mixer view displays eight channels at a time of your DAW, scrollable, with a track color coded universe scroll bar that displays the track colors of your session, the eight tracks currently displayed, and also the currently attention track. At the bottom of the screen, you can either display transport keys or a set of 12 soft keys. This display is alternately shown by touching the soft keys area on the iPad. Paging up and down on the small soft keys is done using the far right up and down arrow keys. These small soft keys and alternately the transport keys as well as the universe bar are available in all four main views of the control app. There's also a floating fader accessed by touching the attention fader display name just above the soft keys key. This floating fader follows the attention track in the DAW, so you can actually have nine faders on the screen, and you can drag it anywhere in the display by touching and holding the name of the track for about a half second. By attentioning a track, not only is it assigned to the floating fader, it can be muted, soloed, input monitor, and or record enabled, also known as the RISM status. It can also be assigned any automation mode simply by touching the automation mode display, which opens the track's automation mode window. You can select multiple tracks and assign using the due to selected soft key or use the due to all soft key to affect all the tracks. Mono or stereo panning can be accessed as well from the mixer view. The tracks view displays up to 40 tracks at once, color matched to the tracks in the session, displaying track name, number, automation, rhythm status, and an audio level meter. By touching a track, it can be muted, soloed, input monitor, and record enabled, depending upon the active select or rhythm mode key below the tracks. You can select multiple tracks by either using a modifier key, shift, option, command, or select contiguous tracks by touching the first track and then touching and holding the last of the range. The selected tracks show an orange perimeter and the attention track displays a blue perimeter. You can also globally clear tracks rhythm status by double tapping the mode key you want to clear. The universe bar is also accessible on the tracks view, as are the small soft keys and transport views. The channel view is where things really get interesting. You have the track scroller with eight tracks displayed across the screen, as well as the universe bar for navigation. Below these tracks is the parameter scroller with direct access to every detail of the selected channel. Inserts, input, dynamics, EQ, sends, panning, groups, mix, or output of the channel, and heat can all be displayed and adjusted in this view. Accessing any parameter of an insert, panning in stereo or surround, assigning a track to a group or groups, instantiating a plugin or send to the channel, assigning an input or output, it's all done here. If there are more than four quadrants of parameters in the center, just swipe to the next or previous set. Select bypass, prefader, Q versus frequency. All of this can be accessed simply, no mouse necessary. You can adjust a parameter from the slider on the iPad, or if you have a Pro Tools dock, you can use the eight encoders for more tactile control. The soft keys view is just that, soft keys galore. Starting with 150 pre-programmed pages of 24 soft keys per page for Pro Tools, putting at your fingertips over 3,500 shortcuts, Yukon commands, and macros to simplify and speed your workflow. The bottom right soft key on each page either alternates the mix edit screen on Pro Tools or brings you back to the home page, which is replete with jump pages to access every mode of editing, automation, layouts, memory locations, anything you need to access or perform within the DAW. There are four user pages to start with for customization, but there's no limit on how many user pages you can create and modify. The U-Control app set of soft keys remains a constant throughout all your DAW sessions, so any custom settings you make will be available for any session or project. The universe bar and the track scroller are also available on the soft keys page view, as are the small soft keys and transport views. In the upper right hand corner of the control app, there's a touch window where you can view and recall track layouts to your Yukon control surfaces, such as S3, Dock, and Artist Mix. In the same window, you can assign exclusive track types to be shown on the control app, including audio, aux, 
master faders, VCAs, MIDI instrument and video tracks, or revert back to all. This only changes the display of the control app, so if you have other Yukon control surfaces, they will not be affected by this display. In the uppermost mid-left of the iPad screen, you'll see the application on which U-Control is currently focused in green, and in the upper left corner, the DAW counter and sub-counter display, which can be alternated by touch. In the upper far right corner is the settings page, where a few preferences and control app information can be viewed. Be sure to see all the Avid videos on U-Control surfaces and applications.